Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers, to today's morning devotion. And it is my heart desire that the Lord in his infinite mercy will grant us the grace and we make our heart to be responsive to his word. And as we learn from him, that the grace of God will help us to be able to know him better than the way we do now. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic is titled, Seeking Jesus. And our test is taken from the book of John chapter 1, beginning to read as verse 35 to 42. 35 to 42. And I read, The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. And when the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and spent the, that day with him. It was about tenth hour. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who had what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Our topic is seeking Jesus. Seeking Jesus. Viewers, we are, this is a topic of the time. If there is anything believers must desire the most is to seek Jesus Christ. John the Baptist continues to point his own followers to Jesus. When you look at from the John chapter 1 from verse 35 we read, John the Baptist, he pointed Jesus, his followers to Jesus. He said, look, the Lamb of God. Look, the Lamb of God. On this occasion, Andrew and an unnamed man come to him and he turned and started, started a conversation with them, having experienced the attraction of Jesus. I think this is a character worthy of emulation demonstrated by John. One of the things the preachers of today must learn that we must know, we must learn to point our uh, to people, to point people to Jesus Christ, not to our own self. But today, what we are seeing today is all, so many churches, is people are pointing men to themselves instead of pointing men to Jesus. But that is not actually what Christ called us to do. We are called into this ministry to situate the mind of people to Christ. We are to point them to Jesus, not to our own self. Andrew went and informed his brother, Simon Peter, as soon as Simon encountered Jesus directly, his name was changed. To Cephas. Another thing again we saw here is that we saw a man called Andrew. After encountering Jesus Christ, he went. He didn't stop there. Well, he went straight to call the attention of his brother. He won. He brought him into the kingdom. In other words, he preached to him about Jesus Christ. We are called into this ministry to bring men into the kingdom of God. To preach to people. 
to come out, to repent from their sins. We are called to, to bring people from darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. But today we are seeing the other side. The preachers are always, they are just after what they will gain. No, they are not after the work of Jesus. Preachers today, they are just after what they will gain here on earth. Self-advancement. Well, that is not what Christ. The first thing the Bible calls out, if we go to the book of Luke, Matthew chapter 6, verse 35, the Bible says, Seek in the kingdom of God first, and all the other things shall be added unto you. We are called to seek first the kingdom of God. That is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. They seek in the kingdom of God first, and every other thing shall be added. But today, so many people are seeking after the things of the world, which are temporal. They don't last. But the Bible is encouraging us this morning to seek the, in the kingdom of God first. In everything we will do here on earth, whatever decision we will take, we should consider first, is it of the kingdom, will it benefit the kingdom of God? It is of utmost importance that at the time we are today to seek the kingdom of God first, not the other things. Not the other things. And my prayer is that God will help us that the eagerness and the zeal to seek his kingdom first, that the Lord will restore to his church in the name of Jesus Christ. The question Jesus asks is very instructive for us. What do you seek? Jesus asks the disciples of John. What do you seek? It is a call for us to evaluate our motives and commitment to Jesus. What do you seek? I put to you today. What do you seek? What is taking your attention? Do you seek Jesus? Some people come to Jesus for different selfish motives. But Jesus sees and knows the best for us. I think the very best thing we can ever do for ourselves, the best decision we can ever take here on earth is to decide, to resolve, to be res resolute, to serve Jesus. To seek him. And seeking Jesus, how can we do that? It is expected that every Christian, if you must be pro productive in your, in your relationship with God, you must seek Christ with your whole heart. Not with a half-hearted heart. Any Christian that seeks Jesus with a whole heart is always a Christian that produces fruit. Christ is looking for, the, for people that will seek him with a whole heart. A whole heart, not with a half heart. So Jesus sees and knows the best of us. All we need to do is to draw near to him and he will put us in our rightful place in God. He will put us, he will place us in our rightful place. The Bible says he knows the plan he has for us. Plan for good, not of evil. And so why not submit to his direction? Why not surrender to the direction of the Holy Spirit? Why not seek for him? Are you in a confused state? Are you passing through challenges of life? I call on our attention this morning. The word of God is also encouraging us this morning that the solution can only be in him. In John chapter 14 verse 6, he says, I am the truth, I am the life, and I am the way. He is the only way that can lead to to success. He is the only way that can lead to heaven. Apart from him, you can do nothing. He is the only way. He is the truth. And so I encourage us this morning to seek Jesus Christ with our whole heart. Seek him and he will grant you peace even in your challenge. Even in that challenges you are passing through. He has the capacity to bring back peace in your life. He has the capacity to bring back peace in your family. 
He has the power to deliver you from whatever challenges you are going through. Only if you will seek him. Only if you will seek him. Remember Jesus asked them, what do you seek? What do you seek? If you go to John chapter 6, John chapter 6, verse from, reading from verse 25 to 27. When they, it says, when they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. You are looking for me not because you saw the miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had had your food. Do not work for food that's spoiled, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. Only Jesus can give us the food that endures, that can endure to eternal life. Only Jesus can give us that. And I think the best thing we can do for ourselves is to go to him who has the, the power to give life in abundance. The Bible says he will give us life in abundance. Not just here, but beyond here. Jesus has the power, the authority is with him to give us the, the, the life eternal. So I encourage us this morning to, to invest more in Jesus, more in the things of God, no, nothing here on earth. Because the things of the earth, I want to tell us this morning, they are temporal. And one day, they will finish. Only Jesus Christ has the power to give you eternal life. And I encourage us this morning to seek for Jesus Christ. He who has the power to give, to give you life in abundance. And you go to him. What is it you are trusting God for? You cannot get satisfaction in all these things that are here on earth. The only thing that can give you satisfaction is Jesus Christ. Satisfaction can only come in him. Only in him alone can we get satisfaction. And I'm calling us this, eve, this morning... To seek him with our whole heart. Are there things that are dividing your heart, your attention? Is it possible you are here, one of your heart is here and the other heart is for Jesus Christ? No. You cannot walk with God in, so, with, in such a way. God desires people that will resolve, will, take, will be resolute to serve him alone. Not to live in pretense, no. But to serve him. Who has the power to give us life. Remember the Bible said he's coming very soon. The Bible said he will come in a day. No man knows. He will come. Definitely there is no doubt about it. That Christ is coming back very soon. Now, the best thing we can do. And I can do for myself. Is to seek for Jesus Christ. Better than the way I've been doing. Give my time. Because to seek him also will require your time. It requires your time because you need to seek him through his word. So how is your morning devotion? How is your personal altar? Are you still observing it? Are you still keeping to it? I encourage us this morning, if your quiet time is dying, I encourage you this morning to wake up. Take your Bible. Remember what God told Joshua. The Bible, what, what Joshua said in Joshua chapter, the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. About, say, meditate on this book day and night. Meditate. And I pray that the Lord in his infinite mercy will grant us the grace to seek him in our daily life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this morning. We pray for the grace, O oh God, to tarry in your presence, to seek you in every day of our lives. Help us, O oh God, that we will not seek after things of the world, but you alone, to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. 
If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.